which brings us to the third component, which is to assess and document progress made in reaching the goals outlined in your wellness policy. The final rule requires a description of the plan for measuring local school wellness policy implementation. To meet this requirement, developing an action plan is encouraged. So essentially, the purpose of assessing and documenting your progress is to demonstrate that your local school wellness policy is being implemented. This is an important step in ensuring your policy is moving from paper to practice. There are multiple tools that exist to assess progress, and these will be included in the research document for you to reference. The new goal made during your triennial assessment year or any other time requires you to reflect on what you already are doing as a district and where you may want to make some improvements. So the Thriving Schools Integrated Assessment, TSAA, District Edition can help you do just that. It allows you to reflect on the policies that are in place and identify areas you would like to improve. The TSAA School Guide does the same thing, right? It identifies areas of strength and improvement, but it focuses more on the implementation piece. Both of these will be used for the triennial assessment in this fashion. Using the Healthier Generation dashboard allows you to track answers, goals, progress, and implementation in schools across your entire district. So under component two, we showed you a question within the Healthier Generation dashboard. We noted that some of the answer options are subjective, which will open opportunities for discussion. And as you are going through these questions and having those discussions, we want to highlight that there's a workspace intended for adding tasks, taking notes, and assigning goals to wellness committee members. This tool allows us to turn answers into goals as well as track progress over time, right? So we will see how our efforts will move from partially or not in place or to mostly or fully in place. Those goals can then be added to the action plan. And the Action Plan Center helps prioritize and establish a goals timeline. It works as a Kanban board, meaning goals can be dragged and dropped into different columns, therefore tracking our cumulative number of goals fully met. Oh, I'm getting some breaking news now that Kat has some urgent information and needs to take us through the Action Center. That's right, Rathney. Breaking news, everybody. We're going to go where the action's at now. So we're going to talk about what we've been talking about this whole time. We're going to show it to you. Uh, this is the Action Center. Uh, here we have depicted a district dashboard. So if you are a district member, this is the district dashboard, and this is what you'll be working from. On the district dashboard, we have our Thriving Schools Integrated Assessment District Edition. So when I click into this, I can see all of the variety of topics that we've seen on a couple of different slides. And more importantly, we have this implementing local school wellness topic. So as I click into that, I can see here that it is asking the district, do you have a district local school wellness policy? So the answer hopefully is yes. <laughs> By this time, we should all have one. It'll also ask district wellness policy goals for student wellness, right? And this may be, um, this is also a yes or no question. So many of these uh, questions for the district are yes or no. Some are like the ones for schools where they're asking um, more specific questions about the, uh, for example, school leadership. This is asking if it's fully in place that you've identified and listed one or more district officials who have the authority and responsibility for ensuring that each school complies with the policy. Okay, so some of them end up being fully in place, mostly partially and not in place. And like Rathney said, we can then add these to the action plan at the district level. I'm gonna show you the action plan from the school level. We'll go back to the district dashboard. And what I want you to know about the district dashboard is that you have your schools listed under here. So if I have all of my schools, imagine all of my schools are completing the Thriving Schools Integrated Assessment, I can then access all of this information by clicking into their schools, and I can also uh, have access to reporting. So here, we'll click into one of our schools, and here is the Thriving Schools Integrated Assessment School Edition. So when I click here, again, here are the same topics. The questions are not exactly the same. They are slightly different because remember, we focus more on implementation in this school version. So for example, let's look at 
strengthening social emotional health and learning. I might take open this question. I can read the fully in place criteria, answer this with my team as accurately as possible. If we need to make improvements, we can add this to our action plan. I can also, like Rathney showed you earlier, add tasks here, one at a time. Okay, Rathney is going to check out resources and I can add some notes here in the bottom to communicate with my team. On the right-hand side here, I also have related resources to tap into. Uh, in case I want to learn more about this particular topic. Another great thing about this action center where all the action is taking place is that if we go back to the district dashboard, and this is only available on the district dashboard, not the school dashboard, we have a wellness policy builder. If you click into policy builders on the left-hand menu, you will see that there are two policy builders available, tobacco-free district policy builder and the wellness policy builder. We're gonna click into wellness policy builder. Here, we just simply go through, open up these sections and begin answering questions, right? This is the uh, instructions. We will have most of our district information will be here already because it's your specific dashboard. You fill out anything that they're asking for, and they'll ask you about your district wellness council. They'll ask you about the frequency that you're meeting, and you just click and answer those questions, and they will appear in the policy when you go to print it out. Now we have also the accountability piece about the trennial assessment, and then we get into nutrition services, nutrition and health education, physical activity, other activities that promote student wellness. Let's click into that. So they have a few here listed. We can add those if we want to. And in many of these sections, you have this option for other. And in the other section, you can add your own text. So if there's something that's missing here that we've already discussed uh, as a district and we want to add this to our local school wellness policy, we can simply put the text in that box. We also have reports available and uh, Rathney will talk a little bit more about what's available in those reports. Uh, as mentioned, if you have several schools participating and filling out the Thriving Schools Integrated Assessment, the dashboard will aggregate that data for you. You can print it out as a spreadsheet, add filters. They also have some visuals on here. We're not gonna go through the whole thing because uh, <laughs> you know, it just uh, might cross your eyes a little bit, uh, but what's available is some great bar graphs and things for you to look at very quickly to reference. And Rathney will tell us more about that and about the uh, impending hurricane. 